Hey, what's good everyone? This is Marlon from MarleyMacMedia.com with another Beat Remake project. This one I've got is Freaky Friday, the beat from Freaky Friday, and it's all done in Logic Pro X using Logic Pro plugins. I'm gonna go ahead and do a playthrough and then talk you through some of the elements in elements inside the track. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the playthrough right there. You get the idea. Uh, so this track starts off with a stack of um, multiple tracks here, which are stacked together to give you that first, um, the the main melody, I call them the, the pluck parts of the um, chords. So these are the individual parts. They're made up pretty much of, well, primarily of sculpture, instances um, with different presets and different uh, tweaks that I've actually done and then the fourth one is a retro synth with this preset here called reverse reverse engineered um, and they all come together to obviously give you that rich sort of pluck that is in the original song this is not exactly the same sounds that they had in the original song and um, I've worked out the chords beforehand if you if you're wondering how I got hold of the actual chords. Um, so they, they might not be perfect, but they are close enough. So this is what they sound like when you start bringing them in. Okay, so that's that, and from there, I've got another uh, retro synth here. This is just giving you, it's not in the stack there because it's playing um, some different notes here, just individual notes. Uh, from there, let me just highlight this section here. We've got the drums, this is an instance of the drum machine designer and you've got pretty much everything going on inside here. Um, I've gone in and changed out some of the elements here such as the clap and the kick just to give me something that's that works well together. So I started off with one of the presets which just which just loads up any pretty much pretty much any sound um, that that preset comes with but they might not necessarily but be what you're looking for so you can easily click Take for example on the kick here and load up a bunch of different kicks that you can change it out to. I'm not gonna do that here because I don't wanna mess up the track. Um, so that's that. Um, the various parts um, in this um, arrangement is pretty much the same MIDI clip, but I've gone in and muted various parts of the uh, elements from the drum kit. So they come in gradually and that's what you end up with until it comes to the full blown drums section here where everything's more or less playing. Um, I think over here, everything's playing. Uh, from there, you've got the bass. This is my uh, regular 808 bass inside the ES2. 
that I pretty much use in most of my tracks like this. Um, all I've done is I've tweaked it a little bit in terms of the release and um, I might have uh, adjusted, have adjusted the filter section as well, just to give me a slightly different sound. I've got a compressor on it, which is side chained to the kick from the um, drum kit. So when it's playing, you can see it's docking the sound a little bit so everything can cut through um, bass wise and they're not clashing in terms of the kick, the kick drum isn't clashing with the um, bass as much. Uh, so that's a little technique there that you can use to kind of clean up your bottom, your bass line and your kick. Um, so other than that, what we've got here, we've got 11 tracks. I'm not using this track here. I'm not quite sure why I've got it there, but I'm just going to leave it there. Um, it, I could probably delete it. Uh, so this here is another ES2 just playing these uh, melodies down here. And I've just got like an echo on here and I'm sending it out also to one of my return tracks. I've got a reverb on this one. So that's on one of my return tracks inside the mixer, which is um, I'm sending out multiple tracks to the same preset. I'm sending out multiple tracks to the same uh, reverb there. That way I don't need to load it on every single track. Um, so that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to make this um, chord, well, I'm going to make this MIDI clip from the chords here, the main chords that I um, said to you I figured out just off the top of my head I just listened to the track and tried to put it together so I'll make that available as a free download so check the link inside the description if you want to grab hold of that you can load that up into any DAW as a MIDI clip and make sure you've got an instrument loaded up on that track so then you can use it with whichever instrument you want to use it with if you just want to have those MIDI clips there or that MIDI clip there um, the project file, I'm going to tidy it up a little bit as well and make that available as a download on my website. So also that would be that would be linked. So the way you could use this is by saving the presets and using them in future produ productions of your own. So you could save, for example, this chord stack. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, you could also save my 808 sub bass and Everything in here literally is savable and you could use it use it as a template, um, as a jumping off point to creating some tracks. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is just do a quick jam session. I've got the drums over here and I'm going to just show you, give you an example of how you could use this. So I'm just gonna give you an example of how you could use this inside a track to just to create something different. Uh, as an example here. I've got my MIDI keyboard plugged in by the way, so that's what I'm um, actually using here. So let's do something like that. Okay, so that wasn't exactly on beat. So let me just highlight that, bring that in, quantize it. So straight away, we've got a different melody. I'm going to jump down to the bass line here and try and put something in. something like that, but I'm going to go down one octave. So I was a little bit early, so that one is out. Again, let me just quantize it. I could do everything, but I think for the most part I'm on time. Try that 
one more time. Uh, so you get the idea, you can use this to, so the idea is you can use this to um, put together your own, your own tracks using the same sounds in here and um, that's just one way in which you could do it. I'm going to bring it over to this one here, this is something I did earlier, it's very similar to what I just did, um, just for the sake of the video, so let's hear it. So there you have it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow up on future videos that I've got coming out, clicking the bell icon so you can get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Do check out links in the description, uh, which will include resource links to um, from this project or any other projects that I might have um, on my website. Thanks for watching again. Take care and be good. Bye.